The Flak Launcher is part of the original battery of Aegis weapons, developed after the Thargoids first appeared in the Pleiades. It was designed specifically to defeat Thargon swarms, released by Thargoid interceptors, and is ineffective at any other task. While powerful when applied correctly, its high skill ceiling, low shot speed, and limited ammunition make it a difficult weapon to master when fighting interceptors in open space. Flak launchers do not count against the experimental weapon limit, meaning that it's possible to place as many as will fit on a given hull, though at the cost of a slot that could be used for a guardian weapon. The essential trade-off is this. Pilots can choose to be more effective against the swarm, at the cost of being less effective against interceptors and scouts. The flak launcher itself fires a slow-moving, dumbfire rocket with a manually timed explosive payload. This rocket can be destroyed by point defenses, a critical vulnerability that has directly resulted in the banning of point defense modules from all official AXI events. Each weapon also carries comparatively limited ammunition, giving it more limited combat endurance compared to other weapons common to AX operations. When fired, discharge rounds are highlighted by a triangle within a circle. As the rocket approaches effective target proximity, a range meter will slowly circle the triangle until it fills in, at which point the triangle will highlight in red. This process is accompanied by an audio cue that helps pilots to time the explosion of a flak rocket. When the triangle is illuminated, there is a guarantee of maximum explosion damage, but this timing system is what makes the flak launcher so difficult to use. Detonation is controlled by a release trigger, also known as a dead man switch which causes the round to detonate when the button that fires it is lifted. Put another way, press to fire, hold to fly, release to detonate, ideally when the proximity meter is completely full, indicating a guarantee of damage to the target. Detonating with the proximity meter partially full can still cause damage, but less of it. Since the swarm is one of the fastest and most maneuverable threats in the game, and the flak launcher is one of the slowest and most awkward, the performance gap must be filled by a ship and its pilot. It is for this reason that the flak launcher is commonly avoided by many medium and most large ship builds. These ships often lack the maneuverability to do more than defend themselves when attacked, with several medium craft able to outrun the swarm using flight assist off and liberal application of their boost button. While the flak launcher is available as a turret mount, the firing mechanic that underlies this weapon is incompatible with computerized fire control, so the turret mount requires an additional commander operating as a gunner in order to be used. If no gunner is available, then the turret mount defaults to pilot control and functions as a fixed mount. Small ships are able to apply the flak launcher best, though at the cost of being vulnerable to suicide attack, and becoming ineffective against interceptors and scouts. This makes them impractical in solo fights compared to medium ships, but they can be a valuable supplement to a team or large group fight, clearing the board of interference for the heavy hitters. Overall, the flak launcher is a necessary module that can be fun under the right conditions, but is more often regarded as an annoying chore that takes away from effective damage to interceptors. Flak demands a lot of mobility from its carrier ship and requires more sacrifice to operate than it often provides. With its limited ammunition reserve, synthesis becomes a common necessity when engaging away from stations, especially against Medusa and Hydra variants. Players who choose to specialize in this task are a rare breed, and well appreciated during group fights, though they often lack the damage or endurance to withstand prolonged exposure to high-level interceptors and groups of scouts. Thargon specialist ships need to give consideration to interceptor damage so they can claim combat bonds from successful kills. On smaller ships, this often means guardian weapons in their small hardpoints. That's all I have for today, so I'll catch you all later.